Hello, hello, my babushkas, my baby, 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 baby girl. Um, welcome to another episode of Alakorna. 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 Boo. Hello, 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 hello. Anywho, I've got some news for you. Guess what? Listen up, listen up, listen up real quick. Open your ears, open your ears. Shut your mouth, open your ears. So, I just thought of something. I don't know if you've ever heard this song, but if you know, you know, shut your tongue. Shut your tongue. Find out what was... What, what lyric that song is from. <laughs> shut your tongue. I didn't know it was possible to shut your tongue, but apparently you can shut your tongue. Anyways, I um, finished high school uh, about five or six years ago. And I, from, from that point on, I was absolutely, utterly lost and confused. I didn't know what the heck I was going to do with my life. I thought I figured it out. I thought for sure I had this down pat. I had the rest, I had 13 years of, I'm sorry. I had 13 years of my life planned out. I, I said, okay, I am going to do psychology. I came up with that plan at the very last minute. I tell you, grade 12, all throughout high school, I'm like, I am not going to university. I'm not going to university. Guess what? I am not going to university. Anybody, anytime somebody asks, I was like, you're funny. I'm not going to university. Not for me, peace. But then people were like, do you want to work at McDonald's all your life? And I was like, I guess I have to go to university then. But that is just not the truth. If you don't go to university, you're not you're not screwed for life or anything. Especially nowadays, there are so many grants and avenues to go about to starting your own business, being an entrepreneur, or so many jobs, even government jobs, the military are available for you without having to have a diploma, like a post-secondary diploma, certificate, or degree. As long as you have your high school diploma. You're good to go. So finish high school at least, people, and then you're good to go. Not that I'm saying don't go to university. I'm just saying it's not absolutely mandatory. It's not like another check off the list that you must check. It's everyone has their own different journey of life. I have been exploring different avenues. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to shut up because if I keep talking, this intro is going to be decades long. I shall talk while I am doing my makeup. Yes, 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 yes. Forgive my soul. Let me do this properly. Today, the look I have for you is very sexy, very chic. I'm going to pop it on the screen right here. bizzle. Yes, look at that. Sexy, ain't it? I believe I have all the colors. I got the black, the purple, the the mermaid, not mermaid. Um, the, uh, the orange shimmer in the inner corner. Uh, the only thing that I'm worried about when it comes to this look is on the inner of the, on the inner, on the innards of the bottom of the eye. <laughs> that was complex. <laughs> the underline, what is it called? The eye line? The water line. That's what it's called. On the water line, this person has an orange shimmer going on. And for me, I do not have any orange eyeliner. Like, I don't know if they literally just took their eyeshadow and put it on the waterline. I don't know if that's possible. If it's going to stay, I don't think so. But uh, I'm gonna try some different things out, see what I can do. The colors that I do have though, So I have uh, a, a very nice purple. This is, these are, these, I think these are all actually, yeah, these are all Annabelle um, brand 
Nicole eyeliners. So this one is Fiesta. This one is Lap Lapis. Lapis? Whatever the flip. It's a very nice, almost like a royal blue. And I have this wonderful color here. It's like a mint green. I think it's what's it called? Literally called mint. Um then I have some white, some regular old white metallic, snow white metallic long lasting 14 hour white eyeliner. So I am going to try because I don't think putting the powder, like whenever I accidentally get powder eyelash, uh, eyeshadow on my waterline, it just like goes right into my eye and then my eyes get a little watery washing it out. So I honestly don't think it's going to stay. Like this is a really wet boy. I don't think it's really going to stay. I think it's just going to get wiped off or just go away. I don't know. So I'm going to try one of these colors instead and we'll see what happens. I haven't decided which color I want to use yet. Uh, for the lips, I believe I am going to go for CoverGirl Melting Pout Matte in the, in the color Back talk you know your girl likes to back talk yes um made in england look at me british are we that was not a british accent that was not i'm not good with accents and then because this is a matte you can see the can you see the color can you see that it's almost like the color of my nighty yeah i'm wearing my pj still i didn't change don't don't even come for me i don't feel like it then I'm gonna put on top, since it's a matte, I'm gonna put on top a gloss. This is, oh my gloss, up to six hour with argan oil. Uh, it's in the shade Brilliant. No, not Brilliant, sorry. Crystal Clear. Crystal Clear. Should I even tell you the shade? It's Clear Gloss. I don't need to tell you the shade. Anyways, so that's my combination. Makes my lips look super thick and luscious. Oh, get ready for that goodness. Uh, I am also trying out a new primer. It's Wet and Wild. Wet and Wild Glass Correct Primer corrects redness, crystal-like skin with spirulina. I don't think there's enough green in here to properly color correct like once you wipe it on i don't feel or wipe it on rub it into your skin it works well as a primer but i don't think it works well as a corrector i still find that i have to put on use my nyx color corrector palette which you can see the green is almost done like i am gonna have to go buy some more i don't even use these four down here at all i just use these two up here this for my under eye and this for the rest of my face so i'm gonna have to go buy some more real soon but I, I purposely didn't buy any when I went to go buy this, even though I saw this was going down low real fast, because I thought this would be green enough to correct, but it's not, it's not. And I learned something. And let me start doing my makeup or else this will go on forever. I'm gonna do the regular base makeup, nothing special. I just showed you the only difference is the primer. Usually I use, a primer from Rimmel London but this time I don't have it on me so I can't show you but if you watch my other videos you you'll know it's from Rimmel London it's purple and white matte to go I think it's called but I heard from a makeup artist um on YouTube that instead of using a matte primer and then matte foundation matte 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 everything because like for me i have very oily skin you should instead prime your skin properly with like the right moisturizer and whatever else you'd like to put on your skin before you put on makeup and use the right primer as well to prep the skin without having to mattify it from the beginning or else it'll just apparently 
get drier faster than if you were to just prime the skin properly with some more with some moisturizers, some proper moisturizers and such. Um, and so I'm testing this out by using this because as you can see, this has made my skin very glossy. The other primer that I use is a mattifying primer and it doesn't make my skin glossy like this at all. It mattifies the skin. And so I was worried when I first used this, I was like, my skin is literally glistening. I didn't realize it said crystal like skin or else I wouldn't have bought it. But your girl was in a rush when she bought it. So she wasn't paying full attention. Oh, well. Um, but I'm testing it. I did it yesterday because I wore some makeup yesterday to go to school because I had a test. I didn't have to be in the kitchen. When I'm in the kitchen, I don't wear makeup because I sweat like crazy. I get this because I have to wear a face mask. So I have like a sweat mask. So all my makeup would just be sweat off because I'm running around the kitchen with the chicken with her head cut off. No need, no, no time for makeup. But since I had a test and a presentation yesterday, I didn't have to be in the kitchen. So I wore some makeup. So I put on this. I did my I've been doing this basic blush look that I think I talked about already before. You can check it out on my Instagram. I just used some blush on as an eyeshadow on here as well, <laughs> right up my nose. And then I do a little shimmer, a little more orange shimmer in the inner corner, like a gold shimmer and then an orange shimmer. And it is bomb and a nude lip. So that's what I've been doing lately as like my daily look, though I don't wear makeup every day. <laughs> but when I do wear makeup on the daily, um, that's what I do. And I think that makeup artist is correct. Maybe I'm just crazy. Maybe I'm just believing her lies and it's like a pseudo effect. But I noticed that my makeup, like even though I put on transparent powder, oh, now I'm gonna put on some, color corrector even though I put on transparent powder on my face to mattify the oily bits uh, after I put on concealer and foundation um, I found that it took some time like I had the makeup on all day from 7 in the morning until 7 p.m 12 hours I had the makeup on and it didn't get like no, my creases didn't start to show until the end of the day when I was about to take the makeup off. Normally, my um, creases, like my smile lines and my under eyes, the issue that I usually have, will usually start acting up on me in the middle of the day, you know, like a couple hours in, but it didn't start acting up on me until I was ready to take it off. So, there's a tip for y'all, eh? Uh, hooking you up with them deals. <laughs> I mean, them deals. I'm hooking you up with them know-how, them secrets. I'm hitting you good. I'm hitting you good. <laughs> but yeah, I'm so glad I learned that. Oh, crud. I need paper towel, cheese, and flipping crackers. One. All right. I right, let me continue with what I was saying. I'm done talking about the whole makeup tip thing. Like, we're good. We're done with that. Back to what I was originally saying, I was talking to y'all about, um, you know, school and all that good stuff. Um, so, you see me, I do makeup. I, if you check out my Instagram, I don't always look a damn fool when I do my makeup. I, uh, I purposely try to do outrageous looking, not outrageous looking, it doesn't look outrageous on the Emmy ways that actually do come up with the looks, but it looks outrageous when I do it. So I purposely try to find looks that are outside of my comfort zone so that I can practice and make you laugh while I'm doing it because I am not an Emmy way. I am just a makeup lover who really likes to learn, um, but I I am not an Emmy way for sure. Um, Though I know a couple MUAs who are just out of this world, like, oh my gosh, I'm so glad I'm their friend because they are just, they give me life. Their Instagram gives me life. Um, but anyways, um, can you stop saying um, really? So I'm currently um, becoming a pastry chef, correct? You know this info? If not, now you know. 
So I said the plan was was to go into psychology, right? That's what I was talking about before, going to psychology. And then I dropped out after one year because it was crazy. My mental health was just off. It was horrible. So much social anxiety, so much depression, so much suicidal ideation. It was horrible, so I dropped out. Then I took a year off, just worked a bit, figured my life out. And I said, let me do theater since people always say you should do what you love. And so I said, I love theater dropped out not that I didn't enjoy it I absolutely loved it and I wish I could have just did, done all four years there and got my degree but it just didn't work out that way um so instead I said okay let me take some time off again figure out my life and at this point I was never planning on going back to university again I said university is clearly not for me I've done it twice dropped out twice clearly this is not for me but then I was having a conversation one day with someone and she just said, why not go back to school? Like there's so many other things you can do. Like you haven't even tried other avenues. You haven't barely tried anything. Like you don't know what your talents and skills are, like all of them. You think you're only good at theater, but you're probably good at other things and you just haven't realized that you're good at them. And I was like, you're so right. Thanks girl sisterhood right there and so uh i started looking into my other talents I said, what else am i talented at what are my skills even not even just have to be talented i mean you don't have to be talented but what are you interested in learning about and so i started thinking thinking and then i was going to do holistic nutrition because I really love learning about, you know, taking how to take care of yourself properly. I'm all about self-care, eating well, eating delicious and healthy food. Um, so I was going to do that. But then I discovered a program at the university near where I live offers a baking program to become a pastry chef. And it's been my dream since I was a little kid, always watching Food Network, uh, to become a chef. So. I used to call myself the singing chef because I always sing while I'm cooking or I hum. And uh, I said, I'm gonna go to school to become a pastry chef. I'm doing what I love. I'm doing what I'm good at too. Like, and I'm gonna make money too. Like, hello, it's a win-win for everybody. Well, I mean, it's a win-win for me. <laughs> And so um, I'm doing that right now. I'm enjoying myself, yes ma'am. Every once in a while we have some hitches with the mental health. Every once in a while, meaning like every other week. <laughs> Sometimes every day. <laughs> but we're trying out here and we are not giving up. I have five more months left in this program and then I am graduating. So your girl refuses to give up refuses and then i thought to myself okay so i'm doing baking is there anything else i want to do like school is available for me i have um little responsibilities right now i do have bills to pay still but i don't have kids i don't have car insurance you know i don't have mortgage to pay nor rent so i have little responsibilities take advantage of that and get all the schooling you can while you can you know and so I thought, what else can I do? I looked at what other programs my university offers and guess what I found? So I was just building up the hype. I found uh, an esthetician program specifically called Spa and Aesthetics Program. So guess who signed up for that? because I love learning about how to take care of your skin, your nails, your hair, everything. Um, I love educating people about what skincare products they should use, what makeup products they should use, how the makeup do's and don'ts, stuff like that. I love, I absolutely love doing that. And sometimes people come to me asking me, well, what should I do with this? Should I use this product? Should I use this product? Like, 
it's perfect. It's a perfect career for me. So I have applied. I applied literally like two days ago. Um, I will find out if I get in or not within two weeks. I am super duper nervous. I believe I have what it takes to be in the program. I saw on their website that they recommend, it's not a requirement, but they recommend that you have, you in high school, you have taken, or you should take, if you're still in high school, a fashion class, which I did, a cosmetology class, which I did, creative arts, which I did, theater, which I did. I even went to university for theater. So like, I'm the perfect candidate for this program. I've done volunteer work at my school where I did theater as a makeup and hairstylist. Uh, I'm very passionate and interested in makeup and skincare. So I believe I'm the right candidate, but <sighs> we'll see. shade of black in here which is right in this corner and it's literally just called black so let's put that on and if you just buy it just leave that not going to be on the dish So this is the final look. Yes. What do you think? It looks very um. You know, yeah, totally that. Anyways, thank you so much for watching another episode of A Lick or an Awe. And I hope you like, subscribe, share, and comment on this video. Thank you, thank you, and tune in for the next episode. Ah, a look or not? A look or not? A look or not? A look or not?